Hello and welcome to Bike Social. This is Eichmerz, the annual Milan motorcycle show. We're going to speak to all the major manufacturers to bring you the lowdown on the top bikes for 2019. I'm John from Bike Social. We're here at Eichmer 2018. We're at the Triumph Stand, which has had some fantastic announcements. I'm here with Head of Brand Management, Miles Perkins. So, Miles, first these new scramblers. What can you tell us about them? So, uh, firstly, there's two of them. So we have uh, uh, this, the top of the range scrambler, 1200 XC, and we've also got an XC. Um, they're both proper dual purpose crossover bikes. So you've got the first modern classic adventure capable motorcycle, but also a scrambler, you know, that more for an urban look that's got absolutely uh, all the things that you would absolutely want. And, and I understand there's um, uh, a new TFT dash system is going to be incorporated into these. What can you tell me about that? That's right. So these have got our second generation TFT system on them. Um, so not only are they styled slightly differently, they have a much, slightly more classic look. They represent actually the first time that we're bringing um, a four new technology features onto the bikes, uh, all facilitated by Bluetooth, the Bluetooth system that the riders can fit as an accessory. So you've got GoPro, you can control your GoPro. The GoPro has been developed with GoPro in partnership. This is the world's first motorcycle integration for them. We also have with the navigation that's been developed with Google. And again, that's the first time with a premium motorcycle brand that Google have done that. You'll also be able to use your phone. So um, you'll get SMS notifications that your messages are coming, but also you'll be able to make calls. And of course, your music and control your music selection and your volume. Brilliant. And the engines on these, uh, I presume they're tuned for the Scramblers? That's right. It's the same engine. It's the high-power 1200cc engine that we have on our Thruxton R, um, stonking engine, but this has got a Scrambler tune um, and a few other little tweaks that brings the power. Uh, it's still got phenomenal power, but it brings the torque down a little bit lower where you would want it for a Scrambler and also for off-road riding. Very strong mid-range, though, so a nice linear torque curve. Well, they, they do look fantastic. I think they're going to be popular. But there's been a couple of new um, special editions brought out. Can we go and have a look at those? Absolutely. Let's go and have a look. Brilliant. Thank you. Okay. So this is the um, T120 Diamond. This celebrates the 60th anniversary, the Diamond anniversary of the Bonneville, the 59 Bonneville, um, which of course is a, you know, it's the most famous British twin motorcycle in history. This is based on our most classic T120, yep. the Bonneville T120, but with a whole host of individual bits and pieces that give this a, a really lovely touch. Okay, so take us through the, the extras on here that we can find. Okay, so the most obvious one is you get this fabulous Union flag paint scheme, which is uh, silver and white. Um, it's got a metal flake in, which is absolutely beautiful. And then, of course, you've got white bodywork that matches it as well. Um, you've got Bonneville t diamond branding, of course. But then the unique touches on here is an awful lot of additional chrome features that go with the white uh, look for the bike and just give it that really crisp, beautiful look, including the Triumph 4 bar badge on the tank. And that's the first, to my understanding, that's the first time we've done a full full bar badge on a tank since the Thunderbirds in the 50s. And I understand these are going to come with a certificate. That's right. Um, Nick Bloor um, signed and numbered certificate for the 900 worldwide uh, run for this in 2019. So this is a one-off. Um, so if you get one of these, you'll get that. Um, obviously, authenticity and something that, that's quite lovely to keep. Brilliant, so let's go and have a look at the other one as well. Okay, so this is a this is our second Ace CAF partnership. Um, so this is a the, this is a based on a Bonneville Black yeah. T120 Black, but a dedicated paint scheme and set of features and details. So um, just like the Diamond, this has got its own paint scheme, um, but with this one, very blacked out. Of course, it's that sort of uh, traffic light racer kind of stripped out, blacked out kind of scheme. So all those early early Bonnevilles had that kind of look. Yeah. So what we we're looking for is a kind of matte black. Uh, look, but with uh, Ace Cafe graphics on it. So we've got a dedicated Bonneville um, T120 Ace branding on the on the sides uh, and on the front mud guards. Everything's of course darked and stripped out. So you've got the bench seat that comes as standard. You've got the, the rear fender, uh, the tail tidy basically. But for me, the best bit of it is the top of the tank has got this graphic design um, with a head down, hold on, which is that sort of racer ethos for the day and what you get with this one is you get a certificate signed not only by Nick Bloor, uh, Triumph CEO but also by Mark Willsmore who is of course the modern founder of the of the Ace CAF so um, they'll, that's even even more unique. When we, we showed these to our dealers a couple of weeks ago, uh, the retailers around the world and they were so excited with it. So talking of exciting, you've got somebody you want us to meet haven't you? Absolutely, big moment for us at Eichmer today. Ladies and gentlemen, please give a really warm Eichmer welcome to James Cole. 
today at Eichmann we've announced that the fantastic James Sosen's joining the Triumph lineup as one of our ambassadors. Um, he travels the world with the MotoGP circus. He represents uh, BT Sport in regards to commentary on uh, MotoGP, Moto2 and Moto3. And we thought it was a perfect opportunity um, to showcase Triumph, but also to get another world champion um, testing this engine out for us. So yeah, great to have you on board, uh, James. Yeah, well, it's just a, a really, uh, what, where it came from was when I tested the, the, the bike in Silverstone uh, for the first time. And that was the first time I've ridden a bike in seven years. And uh, as soon as I jumped on it, I realized just how fun it was when I used to race, you know. Um, and that kind of got, got the relationship together. Um, and then obviously we, we, we got talking about the future developments for, for Triumph and, um, and, and what their ambitions were in the future uh, with all these new models. Um, and I was just really excited to be a part of, 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 of that team. The Moto2 project though is, uh, is going to be really, really interesting. And I think this is just going to be fantastic for everybody. It's got a little bit more horsepower than, than, than Honda. Uh, the lap times I think are already quicker than the, what they were. The electronics as well with Magneto Morelli are going to be a lot similar to MotoGP. And I think it's going to be a, a, a much better stepping stone from Moto2 up to MotoGP. Can we hear it? Yeah, of course you can. Fantastic. <laughs> Thanks very much. My pleasure. Cheers. No Thank problem at all. Thank you. Thank you.